Hey guys, today is November 22nd, 2019. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and I have lots of quilts to show you today. Um, I have so much stuff that I am gonna have difficulty keeping it straight. So there's my warning for today. Um, designer mystery, I just wanted to show you one more time. And each week I'm gonna show it to you with a little bit of a different corner. So each week you can get a little bit of a different peek. And Skylar is here today to hold all the large quilts because we have so many quilts. So that is Designer Mystery. And this is gonna, this is a program where we have blocks and you get, you can sign up for it three different ways. It starts in June. You can get the blocks, just the blocks, monthly for 12 months. And if you get the blocks, it comes with the fabric and a full color pattern. And those are 12 inch blocks. If you want the finishing kit, the finishing kit would be all the fabrics around for the blocks except for the blocks so like this is a block this would be part of the block section this would be part of the rest and then we have a backing set and um, on the backing set I did do mine different because I ran out of fabric and a couple of you were asking if I was gonna write instructions for that and I'm not because um, I just do my backings for fun and um, you can just kind of use your imagination um, I just use some leftovers so I'm not gonna offer that just because it doesn't go with the backing set we're offering and it's just gonna become too confusing. So if you have any questions on designer mystery that I haven't answered now or in the previous videos, let me know before I start showing all of the other wonderful quilts. All right, while I let the questions roll in, we had a couple of people join our YouTube channel membership before we started. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna give a big welcome to Nancy Rogers. Welcome, Nancy. And then a big welcome to Shirley Quinn. Welcome, and Shirley. And we have in the community tab two free patterns. That's our um, promotional Perfect. item for our members this week. And Jocelyn was super awesome to take those It's So Emma patterns and color them in Pemberley by Riley Blake. So um, you can see how it would look with different fabrics. So you can see the original fabrics and the new fabrics just to kind of, you know, give you some inspiration there. Oh man, okay, and we just got a super chat from Cindy Jensen for $49.99. She says, this is my birthday wish for all your hard work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank happy you birthday. so much, Cindy. Happy Piggy, birthday. Piggy says, happy birthday. You are so generous, thank you. Thank you. And then we got another super chat for $4.99 from Debbie Chips saying, hello from rainy and cold West Virginia. Y'all are awesome. And thank, thank you. you for all your hard work and all y'all do for everyone. And then she put the little uh, emoji with the heart eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are so generous. Yeah, it's cold here in Texas too. I didn't know um, it was gonna be cold. I have a son who thinks he's a weatherman. So he usually keeps me up to date on the weather so I never look. And this morning I took my kids to school and the fourth graders are going on like an out of town, cold outdoor thing. They don't have jackets on. I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel like a bad mother. The teacher's going to be like, who is this lady sending her kid? I'm sure I'm not the only mom who didn't realize. So um, that's designer mystery, so I'm going to put that aside. And we have a brand new ruler called the Double Tumbler Ruler. I'm going to show it to you. It's an It's So Emma product, and so our It's So Emma team came up with it. And it is a double tumbler ruler. So if you look at it, these are the inch lines. Let me put a, there you can see, no, you cannot see it better. So there are inch lines here. And there are inch lines on the other side. And this is the skinny side. And this is the chunky side. And so this ruler is a two in one ruler and it's see-through. When you buy it, it's going to have um, brown on it, like brown paper that you need to remove. And it has instructions on how you use it. And we have some cool stuff to show you with it because whenever we come out with a new product, we want to show you how to use it. So this, and these are just projects that our staff came up with for fun. So this is by Teresa Williams, and she took the Wilmington Collection Free Range she traced the ruler from the backing fabric and enlarged it on her printer. She enlarged the outline onto heat and bond and fused it to the rooster fabric. 
and then she fused it to the front and top stitched it and she used English paper piecing template to chalk the quilting lines for the chicken wire. And so I'm gonna show you the back. And so on the back, you can really see those quilting lines. Can you see them? They're like the little hexagons. There you go. And so in the center, she just has the double tumbler used throughout and then she just put the chicken on top. That is super creative and super cute. So that's a way that you could use the double tumbler ruler. And on that one, she used the chunky side. I can tell she used the chunky side. So there's one. This is the second one. Terry made this and this is the Aurora collection by Kate Spain. And so she used, just used a black with those pieces throughout and then she did a piece backing. And she, so the back looks, so this is like a two in one runner. She could put it either the red side up or the black side up. And so this is a way to show you that you can take the ruler and you can just free form it. You don't have to have a pattern. You can just do whatever you wanna do. And it's great for, um, you can use it on any pre-cut, mini charm pack, charm pack, and layer cake. This one I'm going to let Ty, let Skylar hold. And Ter Teresa Williams made this. She used uncorked metallic. Wait, actually come over here so I don't see all that stuff back there. <laughs> um, and she used the skinny part of the tumbler. So like this is the, so you can see how she just, let's see, see how that looks. So she used the skinny part and she sewed and she quilted it and that is by Teresa Williams. Yay, so pretty. And then we have the small one. Jen in customer service is a brand new quilter and she also used Aurora by Kate Spain and she used the charm pack and so this is the chunky side and so this is just showing I know it's hard to see the ruler but this is a way to where if you have leftover scraps you can just okay this is a design by Jocelyn so she not only designed it she also made it this is called the double tumbler mini quilt it is a free pattern it is 18 by 25 and the idea was Sarah's. Mike from mylongarm.com quilted it. And so for the front, for the greens, she used the So Colorful Green. She used a white charm pack. And this is the free pattern. So you can download this free pattern now from us. And these are the fa fabrics she used. So she used the White Light Charm Pack by Wilmington and the March So Colorful bundle. So if you already have, a lot of you are in the So Colorful club, if you already have the greens, you're ready to go. Or if you just have greens from your stash, you're ready to go. So you just need 26 green fabrics, five fat quarters for the tree, actually 26 five inch squares for the white, five fat quarters for the tree, and just some random scraps and then binding and backing. So that's our free gift to you this week. It's so cute, right? I love it. Lily's supposed to say it's cute. It's so cute. Sorry, my mic's not on. I love it. No, <laughs> I saw kidding. Jocelyn making this and I was like, oh my gosh. It's so cute. And the quilting is really nice. Okay, you wanna see the quilting? Well, you, it's not gonna show up because it's white. It's like a little snowflake. So we have that. So let me know if y'all have questions on the ruler. We had a question from Stacy Fallon asking, this new ruler would be good for a charm pack? Yes. So basically you put it on the charm pack and then you can go down, you can make, you can use whatever width you want. This is smaller than a charm pack. So you can do all the way to five or you can do shorter template. You know, you can do a small, temp, a small tumbler, a longer tumbler. You can pick the length that you want. 
and I have a charm I have a mini charm pack that I starched and it's on my ironing board and it's been on there for two weeks because I haven't sewn and I'm gonna take it and just see how big I can make something with the skinny side and just see what happens and then we had another super chat from cool stitcher my happy place uh, for $1.99 and they say I want to see piggy so here's okay. piggy. I'll bring him. He was bad today. I'm not even going to tell y'all that story. He was bad today. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that there is a 20% off coupon for this. So if you want this brand new ruler, the coupon is Friday 2-0. So 20% off Friday 20. And can you remind us what the name of the free pattern is? Double Tumbler Tree. So actually on our site now, you can get this on our actual shopping cart. It's free. So cute. And we have another super chat from Patricia Rupert for $1.99. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. All right. Okay, so I'm going to save this quilt for later because I forgot something at home. And Kevin's going to bring in. It kind of goes with that. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show you um, some of the stuff. This is the block for this week on the Winter Wonder, the Sleigh Bell Sampler that Pat Sloan is hosting on her blog. And this is her quilt. So I'm gonna let Skylar hold it because it's really big. Come over here. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, I don't want you. We have a big old, we have <laughs> a big old ironing board over there that's not the prettiest. I am, oh, it's upside down. Every time. Come so on, it's okay. That's what I do every week. So this <laughs> is the Winter Wonderland book by Sherry Falls. This is also 20% off the kit. Sorry. This way. This uh -oh. way. There we go. We're getting there. So the kit, the backing, the book, 20% off Friday 20. So we have four items on sale this week. And this is Pat's quilt. So she has, um, this is how she sewed it. And she picked all these fabrics. I really like this border right here, how it comes together so she's gonna we're gonna send it back to her and she's gonna get it quilted and um, she has all the information on her blog on her color choices and this is the block that we made in-house that goes in the quilt somewhere right there it'd be so easy if we could just go like that and it would be in a quilt we don't have to sew anything <laughs> and then this is what she's going to put on the backing so she put the same as the border on her backing so that's what we have this week and so that's probably the last time that i'm going to show that quilt um so if you want to see it take a screenshot and let me know if you'll have any questions on that that's a sew along that um basically pat sloan is taking kind of like what we do where you take a book that you might already have in your stash recoloring it so that you can feel confident in your color choices You want us to talk about the frozen oh, stuff? Oh, the frozen stuff, yeah. So frozen, um, Cody decided, I think she likes frozen to make some stuff. She made all of this since like Tuesday or Wednesday, so this is easy. So she's taking, the movie, I guess, just came back out. Like today. Frozen is 2 it comes, a new one? came out yeah. today, yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know anything about movies. <laughs> I would have no idea. So be, to celebrate that, where she took some frozen fabric, and on the front, she has a regular, and then she put Minky on the back. And she has different minky on all of these so that you can just see that you can just use whatever. And so what you do is you put your two fabrics right sides together, stitch a quarter inch around, leave about this much. That would be like three or four inches. I don't know, eyeball it. Flip it out and then top stitch it. So I'll show you where she top stitched. Oh no, she didn't do that. She did an envelope pillow. So envelope pillow I have shown on the channel several times. So this is one envelope pillow. It's so soft. They're all soft. And then this one is purple. Okay. Look at this purple. I don't even like purple. That's pretty. So she just <laughs> did the envelope method. Oh my gosh. And they match so good. Look at how she good she matched. Mm -hmm. So those are the two pillows. And then I'm gonna let Skylar, he looks really good with these. Um, oh yeah, with the Olaf. Wolf. He's gonna show you the front and the back. So these are, we have two different panels. And this is the one where she put it right sides together. So what she said is she put it right sides together, st stitched a quarter inch around, flipped it out, 
and stitched it closed. Now when she put those two fabrics right side, there's no quilting in here. So what she did before she stitched, when she put those fabrics right sides together, she put a ton of pins. Then she stitched, then she took the pins out. Because if you, when, if you didn't do the pins, this would just be not very straight. And then show the back. Look at that. That's so pretty. And so all of these fabrics, you know, we have a ton of minkies. And then this is the newer panel. I think this is maybe the one, does this, do you think this goes with the new movie? Yes, this one goes with the new movie. Okay, yes. Yeah, as see. based on their hairstyles and their costumes. Are you going to see it? Not this weekend. I'm seeing that new Tom Hanks, Mr. Rogers movie this weekend. No idea what she's talking about. <laughs> no idea what she's talking about. That's great. But yes, I will see it while it's in I like Tom Hanks, though. He's great. It's about Mr. Rogers? Yeah, so he plays Mr. Rogers. What's the, what's the plot of the movie? I think, I, I take it it's about his life, but I'm not sure. But you're going to find out, but apparently. We'll find out tonight. She, yeah. can, she can tell us next week. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, not next week, but the week Oh, yeah, after. that's right. We're not having a live stream next week. Oh, yeah. But, yes, I really like this one because they look so serious. But some people don't like that. and They, they prefer Olaf. Oh, I like it. I like it, too. I, I, have, I will say, I don't watch movies, but I've seen Frozen twice. <laughs> not by choice, but by force. I saw it for the first time this week. What? It's good, right? It's a good yeah. story, but uh, it's by force. <laughs> okay. Also, these make great capes. Me and someone else in the office were wearing these as capes yesterday. I'm just gonna walk in my office with the tied around. They, they look Kimberly, cute. Kimberly, can you can you approve this? <laughs> Should have done that. Um, I would have just. Oh my gosh, the week I've had, I probably would have just not even noticed. I just would have been like, yeah, that's Lily. It's good. <laughs> We're good. All right. And we do have a few questions. Okay. Uh, the first one from Katherine Jolson is, is Minky hard to work with as a backing and should it be pre-washed? I would never pre-wash that stuff. Okay. So the deal with Minky is have, have a shop vac. I mean, not really have a vacuum cleaner, but it will shed. It is like a sheep. So imagine that you're um, like shedding a sheep. That's kind of what it is because it, it like comes off and then it goes Kind of like those like cotton blossoms that go psh, that's what it is. So it's messy. Um, sewing with it, I don't think is fine. I think it's the cutting. And so um, since you're only cutting around it four times, if I was doing it, I would cut it. I would literally have, I have a little vacuum that I vacuum my car out with like every other day because I'm a little OCD. I'm not even kidding. And if I don't vacuum it, my kids vacuum it. I'm like, oh, the car hasn't been vacuumed. I'm not kidding, I'm being serious. Um, but I would have that vacuum cleaner and I would like vacuum it up before I started stitching so that it doesn't do that like, it just spreads. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say just, it's really just the cutting. Yeah, and we also have a few videos um, that someone from yes. Shannon Fabrics, Teresa Coach, she came out and filmed with us last year where she has a ton of tips, tips. on Minky Fabric. There's also a playlist if you wanna see them all. Um, but her biggest tip when cutting, and I've done this before too, is you cut it, and then kind of try to keep it all together and use the vacuum method, like Kimberly said, but then you put it all in your dryer for about 10 minutes and it gets rid of all the excess like Be stuff. Before you start sewing. Right. And it's super helpful. I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> well, if not, I get an allergic reaction to it. It's really weird. And that's just me. Uh, yeah, but she, Teresa was really awesome. She did a lot of videos, and mm -hmm. she is like an educator at Shannon mm -hmm. Fabrics. Actually, that's what her title is. Yes. So she goes to quilt shops and teaches people how to work with it so that they're more comfortable. Yes. Okay, and then Amy Loomis Colon was asking, can those be quilted? Yeah. They if could be. You, if you, yeah, y you could quilt it. I wouldn't put it right sides together and then flip it out. What I would do is put it wrong sides together, quilt it, and then add binding or pull your minky from the back to the front. You could do either. All right, and then Christy Davidson was asking, are the frozen panels minky? No, they're cotton. And, then, and they're, um, I'm gonna tell you, they're a stiffer, they're a cheaper fabric, so you pay less. They're a stiffer fabric, they are made in China, and they are stiffer, and they are a um, licensed good. So only certain companies work with licensed goods, so it might not be like, the most high quality fabric, but I mean, yeah. you're not gonna be able to tell, but some of you, if you know, if you're like a fabric snob and that's okay, uh, you might not like it. 
Um, but you know, kids don't care. Kids yeah. aren't going to know a difference. Yeah. And when we were wearing them around as capes, like they felt insanely soft regardless. Um, <laughs> Really laughing at me. Um, and then Jillian was asking, does FQS sell Minky? Yes. yes we do. So you could just go, um, to, if you search by manufacturer and search Shannon Fabrics, they are the ones that we sell the fabrics from. Okay. And then Stacey Fallon about the Mr. Rogers movie said it's about Mr. Rogers' life and they found Tom Hanks is sixth cousin with Mr. Rogers. Crazy. Okay, right? I did see that on Reddit. That's I insane. Didn't, yeah. What are the odds? Okay. And then um, Christy Davidson says, do you suggest batting sandwich with the minky? Um, that's a personal choice. Um, I probably wouldn't just because it's soft enough. But it's, you know, if you're going to put batting in there, you would need to quilt it. Mm-hmm. So you would do it totally different than that. That's like a all four of those items were made. I think the pillows were made last night because they were not here yesterday. So I think she made one of the quilts and two of the pillows last night. So these are just a way to do a quick, simple project where you don't have to think too much. You don't have to quilt it. You just buy, you know, one panel, the yardage you need from the minky, you know, quick, fast, easy. That's the whole point of this. So cute. Okay, so we're going to put the pillows on the set. Yes. I don't even know which one is, um, which sister is which. That's how bad I am. Uh, Elsa's the blonde one, and Anna is the yeah. brunette, redheaded ish one. She's the Disney. What do you call that? The Disney Whisperer. <laughs> the Disney Whisperer. I'm the Disney Whisperer. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah. Okay, so Farm Girl Vintage 2 is, you know, of course, the book by Lori Holt. We're doing Farm Girl Fridays. So every Friday you can look on our Instagram, you can look on Lori's, and we're celebrating her book. And we have a whole list on our blog of what you sew each week. And when you're done, you will have all the blocks for the entire center of the quilt and all of the instructions for the blocks and everything are in her book. And these are the two blocks for this week. This is corn and tomatoes too. It's like a, tom- it's like a pin cushion right there. And cold watermelon. And Teresa is making all of the blocks for us. And she's making them um, how Lori made them. So let me know if you have any questions on Farm Girl, Farm Girl Vintage 2. Now, of course, um, that quilt on the cover is made up of 12 inch and 6 inch blocks. And if there's one that you personally might not like, you can choose from one of her other books, Farm Girl Vintage, Vintage Christmas, um, any of her other books that have the six inch and 12 inch blocks in them and switch it out and make your own. Okay. And uh, Catherine Jolson was asking, is there any super soft cotton backing out there in the industry? Um, I would say the softest you're gonna get is the flannel and those are not always as soft. I would say Minky is what is soft if you want that effect and then from wendy strode she says any idea when the farm girl fat quarter will be in stock um i am hoping soon um but it might be january we're only out of like two fabrics and um riley blake is just waiting for them to come in okay and then i think i missed a super chat earlier um from totus per PRZ um, for $9.99 and they just put a little pair that like rolls around laughing. Super cute. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Totus. Or Totis. I'm, I'm not, not sure which one it is. Feel Look, free to correct Piggy's me. Kate matches the, the, the Oh, it matches Olaf. That's great. Okay. And we're good. Okay, so also with Lori Holt, um, we have this quilt finished. Gina Tell of uh, Thread Graffiti. She's doing a lot of quilting for you guys in Kimberly Stitch Squad, which is our Facebook group or my Facebook group on Facebook. And this is a brand new book and we're gonna show you the cover of it. It is called Quilter's Cottage. It is coming out in May, 2020. And um, in the book, it is going to have a pattern for this quilt that you're gonna see, and then three pillows that are made from the quilts on the bottom. Can you pop that up, Lily? Yes, yes. 
And so you see those little three on the clothesline? She has instructions on how you can make those three as pillows or the entire quilt. We're doing the photo shoot in January. Uh, Lori is coming here for a photo shoot, so we're gonna do that in January. The book is gonna come out in May. It might come out sooner. And um, we also have kits and backing sets available. And so Skylar's gonna hold it. Hopefully the right way. This is the right way. <laughs> All right, let's see. We believe in you. So we're probably going to have to do Ooh, like, okay, let's work. Yeah. So we'll probably have to show half and then the other half. This is huge. Yes. So Gina not only made it, she also quilted it. And it is based on her cross stitch. This is a cross stitch and y'all asked for it to be a quilt and it became a book. And this is Rick Rack right here. There's no applique. This is all piecing. So then we'll show this bottom part right here. Okay, let go of that. There we go. So then this is the fence and the three quilts on the bottom. So she has them with little borders on them and it's all pieced. And this is using Vintage Happy 2 which ships to stores in December, but we kind of came up with a quilt after, after that, after that was all decided. So that's why the kit is coming out later. And then here is the backing. Tell me that it's not the cutest thing ever. You know what? I need a, I need a couch out of that or a chair. Ooh, that would be really cool. I know. See, look, Lily and I, we agreed on one thing. Yes. We don't have the same style, <laughs> but oh, I need a chair out of this. Yes, yes. Seriously. Or you could just make a t you could just take this fabric and just make a table runner and people think you actually did something. <laughs> it's like my in-laws, they don't know. They're just like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did all that. <laughs> so yay, so let me know if y'all have any questions on that. Mm -hmm. And then I have some Christmas stuff to show you guys because you know, it's almost Christmas. And I, I mean, it's coming, Christmas is coming and I'm not, mm -hmm. I haven't done a thing. <laughs> all right. Um, Okay, so I had missed a couple of YouTube members that joined prior and everyone reminded me, so thank you. Um, we had Konza Creative okay. join our YouTube membership. Go down. Thank you. To marry many. And then thank we you. also had Pam Ch Chamberlain join our YouTube membership. Okay. Welcome, Pam. All right, and then Anna Sendejas had been asking, have you ever used flannel for the back of a quilt? Will it shrink at all? Um, all fabric will shrink no matter what it is. Um, and it might shrink at a different rate than cotton. So I would say if you bought the same cotton from the same manufacturer, it's all gonna shrink at the same rate. Flannel might shrink at a different rate. Um, if you're concerned, you would just pre-wash before. I never pre-wash anything. Should I? Yes, I'm too lazy. That's the honest truth. And I just don't, I don't like the sizing to come out of stuff, but yes, it will shrink. Anything, any fabric will shrink. All right, and from Gianna Gorsuch, will Quilter's Cottage come in a kit? Yes, so that is available in a book, a quilt kit, and a backing. And of course, the kit is going to be exactly as you just saw when Skylar held up the quilt. And we just got that back from Gina, so I'm so excited. And I bet Lori hasn't seen it yet, so maybe she's in the chat. Ooh. Okay, and then Kim Fishlin was asking uh, if you could repeat what the fabric was that was used on the quilt. Vintage Happy 2, which is a fabric collection by Lori Holt for Riley Blake. It's The fabric is coming out in December. The photo shoot for that quilt is January. And we're going to be going to Fredericksburg. I don't know if, if anybody from Texas knows about Fredericksburg. Um, so they have a lot of bed and breakfasts. And to be honest, you know, we rent houses all the time for our books. Like, we, that's what we do. We rent. What is it, B&B or what do we rent? Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. See, I don't even know. Airbnb. And so um, we're kind of out of houses. I mean, we've used some of the houses twice. And so I was like, you know what, let's just go to Fredericksburg. Lori will like it. And then as soon as we um, get it done, it will be released. So we're hoping it's going to be earlier than May. But to be conservative, we're going to say May. Because when you do a book, you have to do the photos. You have to proof. You have to do all the things. After that, you have to send it to the book printer that takes like a month sometimes six weeks depends yes. 
Like I'm if so it has excited. a spiral, it takes longer because when they do it, they print the papers, the papers go to a binder, the binders go back to the printer, then it comes to us. So all this stuff takes a long time. Yes. I wish I could just go like this, especially <laughs> this week. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's not happening. <laughs> I love Fredericksburg, so I'm excited for our photo shoot there. Um, okay, and then we had two super chats, one from Stacy Fallon for $14.99, and uh, she put her little thread spool emoji and says, thank you for inspiring others. Your enthusiasm is contagious. <laughs> thank you, Stacy. Really appreciate that. Also, every time I read your name, I think of Jimmy Fallon. I know. I was like, maybe it's maybe she's related, related? He to Austin, I think. And he did something at UT. Oh, yeah, he filmed... Uh, something at ut for his yeah, show like one of my like older like from the last studio dance moms went i was like look at her she's like so hip <laughs> she is like her daughter's at ut though so i don't know yeah i remember he went to a he went to a bunch of food places and then was walking around sixth street so everyone was like oh my gosh uh anyways another super chat from dot dot goose design for ten dollars and she says from miss gracie dot 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 meow thank you gracie's her cat oh thank you miss gracie cat. Miss Gracie's so generous. Oh, and we just got another super chat from <laughs> the Yvette Renee for $2. Thank you, Yvette. And she put a little, oh, no, super piggy. there he is. And she put a little like fox dancing with hearts coming out of it. Aww, it's very thank cute. You. So that's from Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean's her cat. Oh, Jelly Bean. See all the animals. Okay. It's like, okay, so like I listen to true crime and one of the things they say in there, and it's so true, is like, you know, we listen to all this true crime and people are like, oh, you killed somebody. Let me tell you, you kill a dog and people freak out. They're like, I mean, like animals are like the thing right now. And so like, it's so true. Like if you, yeah. I think we've become desensitized in this environment. And I should not go on any kind of rant this week or, um, yeah, I should not. Because right. I'm a little, I'm a little wound up this week. And we do have a question from Katherine Jolson. Will the book come with the kit? No, no, it'll be separate. And, and they are probably, I don't know if they'll ship at the same time or not. They probably will. I'm not sure. All of those things get a little bit complicated with things coming from different places. I don't think that it, actually, can you look? It might come with it. Let me look. I don't know the, let me look to tell you the right answer. All right. And from Patty Boyd, when you buy the kit for Quilter's Cottage, is the backing a separate kit? Yes. The, I know for sure the backing is separate. We're going to look up the book. Yes, yes. And Lori, um, you know, that was her, her cross stitch, so it'd be super cute if you have, like, the cross stitch and the quilt, and it all matches. Okay. And we have a new, another new YouTube member, Deborah Raymond. Welcome, Deborah. Thank Yay. you. Yay. All right. It is separate. Okay, yeah, the book does not come with the kit. Also May 2020. Yes. So, okay, so... I was thinking, okay, last week, last Sunday, Kevin decided all of a sudden, Kevin does all the, de I'm gonna tell you, he does all of the decorating. Like he gets the boxes out, he puts them up, he just says, um, what do you want? And I, he does all of it. So like he decides when we're gonna do it because I'm not doing it. Um, so he was like, you know what, let's clean up all this stuff. Let's clean up all this fall stuff. And so I said, well, can we decorate for Christmas next week? And he said, yes. So I thought, oh my gosh. I'm going to decorate, so I need to get all these quilts on live stream so I can actually use them in my house and not have to, like, decorate and then bring them back. So this is, I wanted to remind you guys, this is Mary, Mary Minnie. This is a completely free pattern. We have videos on the YouTube channel, and the, this is a free pattern. And this is going to be perfect in my house, so I had to get it home. And I used the Snow Day Layer Cake. It is a layer cake friendly pattern. So I wanted to show you guys that because Christmas is coming and it is a free pattern and hello, everybody loves free patterns. And then I'm gonna let Skylar hold this. So this is like a tree skirt, Skylar, so you'll have to hold. Okay. You'll have oh, to. Okay, I see. I'll be the tree. Yeah, he's, <laughs> okay, but you gotta come over here. So this is Charm Pack Christmas <laughs> tree skirt. You can this wear it like a, like a shawl. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So this is a tree skirt and we use Sweet Christmas. Now Nova made this and I love this quilting. So I asked her if I could buy it. So I bought it from her. And so I decided since we're gonna put the Christmas tree up this weekend, I should show you before I get it on my Christmas tree. And this is a, it's a, it's a pattern, but it's a low price pattern. And we have a video and we, on the video, I show how you cut Skylar up. 
<laughs> Not really, but like, <laughs> yeah, like I show how you can put a, a square ruler here and then trim. Yeah. Because that is something that when I was a beginner, I didn't know how to do. Yeah. And this is what the thumbnail for the video looks like if you guys Yay. are trying to find it on the YouTube. Charm Pack Christmas Tree Skirt is the title. Yay. And the pattern's only five ninety eight. dollars so super, super cute. So I'm going to definitely take those two things home today. I don't know. I'm like, I got to go. I got to decide where I'm going to get. Y'all should tell me where to go get the best ornaments. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go to Hobby Lobby, Target, or Michael's. Um, I feel like Michael's has the decorations I like, but Michael's is too expensive for what they sell. So like, I'm like, I like Hobby Lobby, but I don't always like their style. So I'm kind of like, ooh, because I know if I go to Michael's, I'll spend a lot of money. So I'm like, I should probably not walk in that store. <laughs> That's great. I'm DIYing ornaments this year to try to. I'm actually gonna have a Christmas tree. I'm excited. You're, what do you mean you're DIYing? You're, de you're like you're I'm. Yourself. I'm making it myself with like leftover scraps from that I've collected over the past like year. Balls? Like I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I just have a lot of extra fabric that so like. You're gonna do a fabric tree. So I'm gonna do like a fabric tree or something. I don't know. Um, She's gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, anyways, I want to give a shout out to Teresa, who is one of our, I think she was like the third person to join our YouTube channel membership or second. Uh, anyway, she's a YouTube super fan and tomorrow is her birthday. Happy birthday. So I just wanted to give you a shout out, Teresa, because you're amazing. And then funny comment from Stacey Fallon. She says, can Nova make one for me? LOL. I know. She probably, she's so nice. She probably would. Um, I just liked it so much. And I was like. Do you want it? Like, cause, cause what we do, I'll tell you what we do for our videos. Um, if you're an employee or if you, a sample maker, let's say that if you're a sample maker and all of our sample makers are employees and, um, when like, for example, let's just say Jocelyn designs something, she designs something that has to be made. So we send an email first and we, whoever answers the email first gets to make the quilt and they get all of the fabric free and most of the time I pay for the quilting and the batting. So it's like a completely free thing. Um, and then they can, and a lot of times my employees use them as Christmas gifts. And you know, of course their um, relatives love that. Um, so it's like a perk for working here is to be able to make stuff, get stuff free. But then it's a perk for me because then I don't have to do all this. Cause can you imagine? Like, can you imagine? I can't even, I can't even. But I am about to make a quilt, and I'm starting a quilt that is going to be so hard, and I cannot wait. I am so excited. All right, and then from Selena Spencer, she says, question, will Designer Mystery have a Facebook support group, or are we using Kimberly Stitch Squad? We're going to use Kimberly Stitch Squad, probably. If that's different, um, I think we're probably going to use Kimberly Stitch Squad, but I'm not 100% sure. And I did want to make an announcement on Kimberly Stitch Squad. Um, we got a new website. Um, people got frustrated. They started ranting on my group. The group is not for that. Um, our customer service agents do not sit on Facebook watching that. So, um, you know, you were get, then they would get frustrated because we didn't answer. Uh, our Facebook group is for the joy of crafting and quilting. And so that's what it's for. On our Facebook group, we put exactly how to contact customer service. We have the best customer service and we will take care of you. And I put Elva's personal email so that if you need to get to somebody immediately, that is how you do it. Um, and so anything that is on there that's like, oh, I can't find this, you know, we're gonna screenshot it and send it to Elva and we're gonna delete it because we got way too many complaints this week and um, I don't like complaints. I mean, I don't like to like come to work and have all these complaints. I just want y'all to have fun crafting. That was the whole point of the group. It's mm -hmm. not, and you know, I understand the website, but you know what? It's getting better. The search function is going to work soon and all the kinks are going to be worked out soon. Um, and again, like I said, I wish I had a little magic wand to make everything perfect and I don't. Um, um, some people think I do. I wish I did. My kids think I do. They <laughs> keep thinking that. That's great. Um, also, if they find something with the website that they're having issues with, do they still email Elva about yeah. it? If you have okay. anything, any customer service, email Elva at fatquartershop.com. She will take care of it. You know, if it's website and she doesn't know the answer, she's going to have to email Kevin and Matt and get you an answer. So if you don't get an answer right away, she's waiting for an answer from Kevin and Matt. All right. And a lot, like there were at least 20 things. Those are all fixed. 
what's not fixed right now is the search. The reason the search function is not fixed, that is a huge software that we use that we pay thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for, and it is a completely different software. The way that a whole website works is you have all these different things. This is your website, different things plug in. That's the best way I can explain it to you. When we're trying to plug in this search function into our website, we're getting error messages, which is causing all these other problems with the shopping cart that y'all were having. So until we can get that plug in to work, we'll put the search in, we start getting phone calls that all these other things are not working, we have to take the search out. Fix that bug, put it back in, take it out fix it so we I can tell you that Kevin has worked till 3 a.m. for like a month straight and that is zero exaggeration this morning when I woke up he was not in the bed I went in his office his light was on he had a pillow on top of him he was sound asleep mm. I got those kids to school he had no idea we are working as hard as we can I am not Jeff Bezos um, I do not have Jeff says Jeff Bezos money if I did it would be perfect but I don't um, but I mean, I, I'm just being honest, like I'm being as honest as I can. And um, I can promise you that we are doing the best that Kimberly and Kevin Jolly can do. Yes. We have lots of love in the comments for all of our customer service and for everyone working on the website. So Yay. huge thank you to them. Um, we also have a lot of people saying they would love to be part of the sample maker program. Yeah. And so <laughs> that is why we keep it in house. Yeah. Because it is way too hard to manage people, and then what if we get a quilt? And it's the perk of working at Fat Quarter Shop because mm -hmm. you get a lot of free things, and that is like a perk of working here. And um, if I, you know, a lot of it is, you know, like if I, if a pattern needs to be corrected, they know exactly what we need to do. That is one of the reasons our patterns are so perfect. It's because our sample makers know exactly what to tell Nova. Hey, this didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, this this isn't working. We can be honest with each other and we can like tell each other like hey this isn't working we have an environment where we have to be able to give feedback and mm -hmm. take the feedback because if that if you don't have an environment like that you're just gonna like plug stuff in and nothing's gonna be perfect and so that's why it's all internal and it's gonna stay internal sorry guys <laughs> but yes that's just the one of the perks i mean you can ask lily like yeah. when those uh, people get upset when like for example, if Lily really wanted to make something and Cheryl said it first, then Lily's going to be, oh, man. That, it's that true. situation legit happened. Yes, it does happen. But yeah. it's the perk of working here. And so it's like, you got to, it's like, be careful if you go to the bathroom. You might miss. You it's might miss. It's true. You always got to check that email. Yeah. I'm being serious. <laughs> no, but seriously, Cheryl, when we both did the, um, uh, it was the Lori Holt sew along, the, the two color quilt. I really oh, wanted yeah, Nug a different Meg. color. And I, I emailed and Cheryl beat me to it. So I got green, which was great. But Cheryl's quilt turned out beautiful. Anyways. Yeah, so they got, so basically we gave every, well, we gave colors, whoever wanted a color. And then, you know, you don't have, and the other thing about being a sample maker is you don't have to. You don't have to do it. Oh, yeah, it's optional. But everybody, everybody chips in. And the great thing is we have a lot of people who like different things. Like Cheryl likes really traditional. Mm -hmm. um, Lily likes really modern. Yeah. I like really moda. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, going back to the Hobby Lobby topic uh, and Christmas ornaments, Michelle, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your second, your middle name. Michelle Stickney says Hobby Lobby has 50% off right they now. Do. Got to oh. get on that. Yeah, I even, uh, yeah, oh no, I'm, I'm going to be up at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have, because what I do is I do all the, like, um, the furniture stuff. He does the tree. You don't touch that tree. He's very particular about the tree, and so I don't n walk near the tree, because that is Kevin's tree. But if he doesn't like my ornaments this year, I'm just going to do a second tree, and then we're going to have the Kevin tree and the Kimberly tree. Honestly, like, we really don't argue much, but we when we argue, it's usually over decorating because he is very set he is very traditional he wants it his way and so we had to divide the house into sections you can do what you want over there but you're not touching this i love it and so it's good we we have our thing and then marcia baker said confetti cannon for darling kevin she's right confetti cannon for kevin oh. And he just, he just brought that, uh, I'll tell you about the tree skirt. This morning when I was driving to work, I was like, oh, the tree skirt, I gotta get that here. So I called Emma and I said, Emma, can you FaceTime me? And she was like, okay. And then she FaceTimed me to the wall. I was like, no, the other way, you gotta turn the camera. 
And I said, go in this cabinet, and it should be white. It should be here. And then she said, is this it? And I said, yeah, tell Daddy to bring it. Aww. And he That's did. That's amazing. Okay. And then we did get a super chat uh, from Rose Morrill for four ninety nine, saying, you make it so hard not to buy everything you show. Oh, <laughs> Thank well, you, Rose. Thank you. Really, what we're wanting to do is, like, inspire you and then show you stuff because, you know, we want to show you stuff. What if you don't like it? Like, if you don't like it, I want you to see it before you buy it, too. It goes both ways. Okay. So, um, So Colorful Spools is the pattern that Corey Yoder designed for us, and I want you to go to her blog. Um, she is Coriander Quilts, C-O-R-I-A-N-D-E-R. -E She's having a giveaway, and she put her quilt together, and it is so awesome. It looks better than mine, so I'm a little jealous. And um, these, the club this month was brown. And so Kate made these, so I'm going to show them to you. Go, Kate. That is brown. Oh, that's brown. So these are all from the pattern. So inside the pattern, there are six patterns that go in here. And we will have a new pattern in January. And of course, you will have leftovers from this year, so you could actually make it with, you could combine last year's and this year's. If you, and we have so many people in that club that I know that people will be doing that. And these blocks are really pretty. And my quilt, did I get it quilted? I did get it quilted. I need to put binding on, I think. I think it's sitting in my house needs binding. I can't even remember, that's how bad it is. But I did finish my quilt, I showed it, and I will show it again when I get the binding on. Cream and Sugar is a book that Sarah Price designed for It's So Emma, Ooh. and this uses Sonoma by Aditya Sitar, and we just wanted to show how you can take something like this and make it like this. Oh. I know, so this cool. is like Lily's thing. So Crystal made these, and she's using Allison Glass and Pinkerville, which is Tula Pink. Oh, so good together. And so, of course, when she's finished with it, we will show the entire quilt. And she said on this one it took six hours. Wow. Yeah. Oh. But it looks so good. I know it does. It looks really good. And so that's a way that, you know, if you had the book and you, you know, if you're ever wanting to do something on a weekend and you don't have something, you don't have to go buy something. You can just go and grab stuff and just like make it look different. Just totally make it look different. So let me know if you'll have any questions with that. I think we're good for now. Okay, so Skylar's gonna hold this quilt. This is the beginner, the ultimate beginner quilt series that I made and Gina quilted on set and we are auctioning it off for Make-A-Wish. So if you buy this exact quilt, I made all of these blocks, Gina quilted it because I don't quilt and um, if you buy it from our eBay auction, the link is below the money is gonna go directly to make a wish because we are doing, we're trying to think of ways in house to really get to that $50,000. And so we just wanted to announce that that was something that we did this week. I'm sure we will be doing other quilts as well throughout the year, but this is kind of the first one. And so um, we're super excited about that. So this is the one you guys literally saw in the video yes, being this made. this is like the blocks. So if you want the video, yes. The video quilt. Actual made on camera for everyone. This is it. Yes. And so we're hoping we get a lot of bids because if we get a lot of bids and if we're able to do that and it's successful, we're going to do more and more. And I'm sure it'll be my quilts. I'm sure other people will donate. Um, I have got quilts lying all over this place that we could get rid of. So, um, but I'm only going to do it if it like really brings in enough money to really benefit Make-A-Wish. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm super excited about that. It's December 1st. Oh, and the auction ends December 1st. So, and then you can click below to the eBay. Yeah. And then if you, from the kindness of your heart, want to donate to Make-A-Wish, that is the first link in the link below. All of that money goes directly to Make-A-Wish. We're trying to raise $50,000 and um, grant five wishes next year. And Kevin has agreed if we get to $50,000 that he will sit on this couch. He keeps saying he's going to do it. I don't know. We'll see. 
So donate, donate, donate. Yes, he will sit. No guarantee of talking, but he will sit. He doesn't talk much. <laughs> not many words come out of his mouth. I'm not kidding. He's very shy. Okay, so we have some quilts that um, when we offer block of the months and stuff like that, we ask for the manufacturers to send us the quilt so that we can act an actual photo on our website. So this week, um, Henry Glass sent us these quilts. So this is a Kim deal. She has two clubs she's offering right now. This one is a kit, but it's going to be kind of like a block of the month. You going the right way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this quilt is called Esther's Bloomers and <laughs> It is a, it's 70 by 70 and we're offering it as like a block of the month. So I wanted to just show it to you in person. Person, These are applique, that is tiny applique. I, the quilting is super nice, like they did actual accent quilting right on top of the applique. And they have some, I'm trying to think of what that is called. It's my favorite kind of quilting. Oh, a Baptist fan? No, oh. orange blooms ah. within each little block. And so that is Esther's bloom, bloomers. Here's the back. I don't oh. know if that's the back we're offering though. Oh. But Whoops. you can still oh. <laughs> you can still show it. Go Skyler. That's fine. And then simple whatnots. She this is her ninth time doing this. And so there are six or seven quilts. And all the information on all these clubs is online. Um, I would rather y'all get that online. So I don't tell you incorrectly, I believe all of it starts around June, 2020. So that's one. And I think that Kim made all of these, but she might not have. And if she didn't, I'm sorry to whoever made these, cause I don't know. I do like to give credit to whoever um, makes these. So this one is Simple What's Not, Simple What Not's Nine. And then this is oh, another one. Look at this. this oh my gosh, not. okay, gotta zoom in on this one. Look yeah. at this. It's itty bitty. That's like a pot holder one. Like for a cooking stove. Yes, yeah. for your stove so you can catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you I meant for like a hot fire. pot. Sorry, like guys. when you take it off the stove and you don't, I don't put cook. it on the cap. I don't Fair cook, enough. so I don't know. I don't Fair even enough. know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know what food delivery is. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm horrible. So here's the uh, here's two more. They're so pretty. So some are big, some are sm small, some are medium. They're all hard. I will say that. They all are hard. And this is the last one. So you can see those in person. Super awesome. And so on those clubs, just go to the website if you have any questions. Kim Deal is the designer of both the patterns and the quilts. The patterns cannot be purchased separately. She offers both of those club pattern things. You can only get them in the club. So she, um, that's her rule. So like if you called any quilt shop, the quilt shop is not supposed to offer those patterns in any way if it is not within the club just because that is um, the way that she set up her program. Now she might release that into a, pa a separate pattern, you know, several years down the, the road, but those patterns per Kim deal are just part of the club. Because we do get that question a lot, you know, can I buy it separately? No, unfortunately you can't, I'm sorry. So we have another kit. This is kind of my last thing for today. This is Blackbird. I'm gonna let Skylar do this one because it is big and heavy. So this is the kit. The pattern is It's So Emma. Jocelyn designed it and the backing set. So can you zoom out? Because yes. this is like, the, when, when I look at this quilt, what I think of is, okay, go down. There you go. I think of it as like one big block. Yeah. Even though it's wow. like really not one big block, but it's like kind of like a barn quilt. Yeah. And so that is one of our newest It's So Emma patterns. It's called Blackbird. We have the pattern and paper, PDF, kit, and backing. Yay! So that's what I have today, guys. Um, let me know if y'all have any questions on any of all this stuff that I um, showed. Again, we are not having a 
live stream next Friday. We will be filling orders. Next week is Black Friday, so you will want to be shopping on, you know, Thursday, Friday. We will have a lot of great deals. I can't say what those are. And um, that's what I have this week. So I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Yes. While we wait for questions to roll in, do you want to do shout outs? Yeah. All right. So I have Farm Girl uh, Fridays shout outs. And so these are blogs that people made and they're hashtagging Farm Girl Friday so we can find their posts. And this is Debbie Chappelle. And those are super cute. I think that is So Cherry, which is an older, she's mixing in So Cherry, which is an older collection from Lori, if I'm correct. And this is Glenda Moreau. That's super cute. And she's got some Lori fabrics in there. And Roseanne Elliman. So cute. Mm. And Donna Sturm, she is like always sewing everything. I think she sews every single sew along we ever do. So she's like my biggest fan. I love it. And then Quilting Orange Blossom. Ooh. Super cute. And look at those clothespins. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And then Cowboy and T. Cute. I love the apples. And then GG PSU. Such happy tulips. <laughs> And I love vintage. And of course, all these blogs are from the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book by Lori Holt. Back to the beginning. And then we, um, do we have other shout outs? Yeah, I have Perfect Five. Okay, so Perfect Five is a book and ruler by It's So Emma available in our shop. And what we're doing is we're offering a free sew along. You of course have to have the book, but the free pattern will show you what you need to refer to in the book and it takes all the blocks from the books jumbles them up into one beautiful quilt that i've shown several times and i'll show you what people are working on this week this is christine vanneman and i love this this is these fabrics are awesome and then ingrid the quilting owl i love how she fussy cut the flower that's a great name and then the purple muse and i think that is american jane fabric yeah and Corrine CB and one lady okay one lady took go back to the last Sorry. block she took that last last block and she got all the corners on the wrong side oh, no. and she posted on Kimberly Stitch Squad and I was like it's fine nobody's gonna know just put in your quilt like nobody's gonna know mm -hmm. I wouldn't have even noticed if she wouldn't have said anything and then Laura Laura Whitfield those fabrics are beautiful Ooh, great picture with the book and the ruler in it too yes and then Laurel Stitchery, super pretty. I love that background. And I think that is an older Buddy and Camille fabric. And Jennifer Burley, super cute. That's the fabric I'm using or I used. So of course I love that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a repeat. Yeah, it's a repeat. And then Michelle, I can't read your last name because it's too far away, but you've got lots of blocks. Pretty. Okay, there we go. So mm -hmm. thank you for sharing. Um, we love to see what you guys are all working on. And you can share it in our Stitch Squad. You can share it on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to. And if you just hashtag, it's easy for us to find. Yeah. I also have shout outs that we've just picked from the Stitch Squad. Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. Woo! Gabriel must have made her send this in <laughs> because he is like trying to get me to finish mine and I haven't worked on it. That's so cute. I like the bus. How about, I don't even know what I've made and what I haven't made from that. Um, but I am going to finish it. It might be 2025, 20, but it will be finished. Maybe I'll send him to college with it. And that's a free, um, that is a, that is a Minecraft quilt is a free pattern on Kelly Fannin's blog. And her blog is seriously, I think I need stitches. If mm -hmm. you want to get to that pattern. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and this is a beginner quilt by Fran. Oh, that looks so cool. So pretty. I love what I you love did the with border. The, yes. I was going to say that. And then, okay, this is Pat Prometz. This is a Jelly Roll rug. Oh my gosh. Shout out to you because Jelly Roll rugs are hard. Very difficult. It looks so good though. It does. I want one in my house, but I'm not about to make one. 
And then this is Joanne Van Zyl, and I love that. It's very Christmassy. So she's got it done just in time for Christmas. And this is Nancy Wesley, I think. And that is um, that is using Lori Holt's Crazy Paper. And I think that fabric is We Whisk You a Merry Christmas by Maywood. Um, we are out of the bundles, but we are waiting patiently for the fabric to come back in to recut some. And she just came up with her own, own pattern, and it's super cute. Oh, that's so cool. And back to the beginning. There we go. Yay. OK. Yay. So. First of all, we got a super chat from Mary Erickson for $1.99. Thank you. So thank you, Mary. Also, it looked like you were trying to donate a different amount. Um, when that happens, just like uh, if you would like to donate a different amount, any amount is perfect. Um, super helpful for us. But when you click the little S uh, dollar sign for the super chat, you can like slide around this little um, like marker it gives you. And that's how you determine um, the amount you'd like to donate. Yeah, I think it's super confusing because um, I watch... Other, I watch live streamers, a lot of them, um, <laughs> and I tried to donate one time, and I was like, it was so complicated. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do it. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, maybe and we'll Lily, make it. And of course, wasn't in my bed at home to show me, because <laughs> I don't know how to do anything in technology. I can't tell you how many times I have to get people to help me. I don't, I just don't, I don't, um, it's just hard. Like today, these kids, like my kids, they do all their homework on Google Forms. I don't know how to do a Whoa. Google form. I don't know how to create one. I don't know how to save one. I don't know how to do any of it. That's next level. Wow. No, all of them in fourth grade, they all know Google Forms. When they come home, it's all go everything is Google Forms. Everything. Wow. I wish I had that when I was in school. That would have yeah. been nice. Everything. <laughs> and so, um, and everything is like, they have to um, log in to get to stuff. And so last night, it was like the big meltdown in our house because mm. I guess the school, you can get in and they're like, oh my gosh. Mommy's gonna get an email that my homework's not done and she's gonna get mad. Oh. Mom, look, the internet doesn't work. Aww. But we got it to work. That's great. Because they know if I get an email, that their email is not done, um, things are gonna happen in my house. Ooh. We're gonna take some toys away. Ooh. Um, from Chris Eckerd, will a half yard bundle be enough to make the cream and sugar quilt? It's a great start. You should have. You know, you might have to order like maybe a few here and there bigger pieces, but that's a great start, yes. And Jenny Block says, hi, Kimberly and Lily. Sorry, as I know you have been asked before, but can you show the spray start you use, please? Yeah, do you, I think it's in there. It's, um, okay, we actually got, um, I brought some from home because we didn't have any here. It's nope. the one that says Niagara. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It'll be a sec. <laughs> we'll find it. So basically, uh, we had a lot of questions on Kimberly Stitch Squad. So what we did is we're going to do a blog post where we put it, and we're going to have a supply list where we put it. And I brought some cans from home, and we're going to find it. We'll find it. It's somewhere in here. Uh, or check the, the gray. Um, but I or Kate might have it. I brought it on Monday, and so um, and we put an Amazon link to it. Um, I have been having some difficulty in Austin finding it yep. hey. yes so it is um i will say i still like the one i used to use but this is i tried a couple i think i tried like three and stay flow uh no stay flow does not work for me at all um but a lot of people like it so you should try whatever and do whatever you want this is niagara original hold it works good the thing that i don't like about it is it smells so what it says on here is Durafresh scent technology. If they just took that out, it would be, <laughs> it would be a little bit better. Um, but this is what I'm currently using. I still love my other stuff better, and I have been having difficulty finding it. Um, so that's my only, um, my only holdback is I just like I get what I get when I mean every time I go to any store, um, I try to get some, but I'm having a lot of difficulty. And I mean I could buy it on Amazon. I just haven't okay from uh lillian roth about black friday what time will your deals start i can't say oh i can't say i would look thursday night i can't promise anything and um but i would say start looking thursday night yes and i can't say what the deal is i can't say anything um just because 
it's a secret. Yeah. It's, it's a Krabby Patty secret. Krabby That's what Patty Lily secret. calls it. Yes. Yes, it is. I still haven't watched Spongebob to figure it out. What? There's going to be a new movie, I Oh, think, no. Movie? Something? That makes it even worse. No. <laughs> yeah. There is an old Spongebob movie, but I think they're making another one. Anyways, um, <laughs> Stacy Fallon was asking, or she said, wait, when is Skylar starting his quilt? He's just looking at me with a blank stare. <laughs> <laughs> Not anytime soon. He's looking at me with a blank stare. Yes. We, we will uh, he get can him have the his, help he, he needs. He can have his fiance do it, and he can pretend it's him. Nobody <laughs> would know. We don't live at his house. <laughs> just have her do it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Or and have then. your mom do it and pretend it's you. Good ideas here. <laughs> Good ideas. <laughs> okay. Uh, from Courtney Mileson, newbie question. When I do the farm girl patterns with embroidery, do I finish the embroidery and then quilt or quilt and then embroidery? I would quilt. I would embroider and then quilt. But if I was adding buttons, I would do that after the quilting. And from Michelle McGilvain Stickney, what's a cute Christmas pattern for a beginner? This one. One. Ooh, it's very mini. it's very easy merry mini free pattern super easy free make, video tutorial yeah free video tutorial free pattern uses a layer cake super 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 easy super beginner the pieces are all very big like you know this is like huge for flying geese super 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 easy yes and in the videos like kim really shows every single step step and of the sewing. tips yeah. um so you can we show sewing, cutting, and there's a little timer in the top corner that's like telling you how long everything took. Okay, and we have another super chat from Mary Erickson for four ninety nine saying, uh, here's the right amount from my sweet Maggie and me. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank is you, Mary. A dog or a cat? Or a person. <laughs> no, she said and. I guess you're right. Yeah. Let us know who Maggie is. I think it's a dog. <laughs> I would just feel bad if it's a person. <laughs> We're assuming it's, it's a It's okay. People like pets more than people. It's fine. <laughs> uh, that's me at the parties. I'm petting the dog on the side. Anyways, uh, Life So Crazy says, I have eight kids some, and some days I feel like all I do is cook. Oh, yeah. In reply to talking about cooking yeah, earlier. Yeah, the other night, um, Kevin wasn't going to come home very early. It was on Wednesday. And so the, I was like, oh, you know, so what do we eat? And my main macaroni. We all ate it. It was great. She doesn't cook the macaroni long enough, but I was like, it's fine. I like it. It's free. It's child labor. Sorry. <laughs> no, she does. She actually, like Emma and Peyton, they watch cooking shows, and my mother-in-law helped Emma one summer. She makes the best eggs. I mean, they are better than IHOP. They are better than, I mean, I mean, she can cook anything. She's not going to clean any of it up. Um... But we make a deal that if she cooks, the boys have, if like she cooks, the boys have to clean it up. Mm, so, sorry. and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause she cooks, she really does cook good. Like she cooks better than I could cook. Go on. Um, and then I should have noticed this. Mary Erickson, she says, it's her pug. See? And she has a pug in her picture. And I don't know why I didn't put that together. See, it's a little pug. You're right. Okay. Um, let's see. Sewing Becca was asking, what brand needles do you use with your Juki organ needles like recommended? I use Schmetz. I use uh, Schmetz. That's the brand that I've just always used. Um, I don't really know if there's a difference. And I use size 80, just regular, universal 80 when I stitch. Now, if I'm doing something super thick, like the other day when I was trying to put binding on the um, So Colorful, I had to use a... a 90 because that linen was really thick but i have 70 80 and 90 in my house like all of them in case i need to change it like i would use 70 for applique or non-stick for applique um, but i literally have like stacks of needles but i do change them often and i do break them often um i will say i, I have been breaking needles lately right and then debbie uh, Neasley Ills says, how do I know if I'm a beginner, intermediate, or advanced quilter asking for a friend? Oh, so I would say, you know, if you, you can be whatever, you don't have to label yourself. You can just be a quilter. <laughs> um, but I would say um, just, you know, I don't even know how to answer that question. Um, 
I don't know how to answer that question. You have <laughs> I think me it's... stumped. I would just say you're a quilter. Yeah, I think it's just more in regards to like if how you say like this is an intermediate quilt. Oh, like, yeah. How do you know if you're ready for it? Like I think if you can. Okay, good. If you, I think if you can do a half square triangle or a flying geese or corner squares, if you can do that, then I would say you're intermediate. I think the difference between intermediate and advanced would be having really accurate quarter inch seams and being able to do really tiny pieces. And um, because when you start getting in those tiny pieces and trying to like scrunch that in together, that's really your difference there. So awesome. So you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you guys in two weeks. Ooh, bye guys.